Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week, where we give you all the updates from the AWS world. This week, Amazon Redshift launches Pause and Resume. You can now update your global DynamoDB tables with a few clicks. And we have some news about the Amazon Managed Cassandra service. It's AWS This Week with me, Nick Triantafilou. From this week, Amazon Redshift now supports the ability to pause and resume a cluster, which will allow you to easily suspend on-demand billing while your Redshift cluster is not being used. This means if you have a cluster being used for development, you can pause your compute billing and you'll only be charged for the cluster's storage, saving you money and giving you flexibility in managing your cluster operating costs. Next up, we have DynamoDB, where you're now able to update your global tables from version 2017.11.29 to the latest version of 2019.11.21, with just a few clicks of the DynamoDB console. Why is this important? Well, by updating your global tables, you can actually increase the availability of them by extending them into additional AWS regions with no table rebuilds required. There's no cost for the update, and you'll also benefit from improved replicated write efficiencies too. Awesome. Now for our Amazon Managed Cassandra service news. It's now available in preview for 18 AWS regions. MCS is an open source distributed NoSQL database, which is proven to excel when you need scalability and high availability without compromising performance. It's used in over 1500 companies like Netflix, Reddit, Instagram, and GitHub. So if you're interested, I suggest you check it out. Now let's check out some quick fire updates. Amazon VPC flow logs now support resource tagging and tag on create. Amazon Elasticsearch service announces support for Elasticsearch version 7.4. Amazon Connect adds phone numbers in 12 new countries. Amazon S3 adds tagging support for S3 batch operations jobs. AWS App Mesh launches support for end-to-end -end encryption. And AWS App Config announces integration with Amazon S3. Now, of course, if you missed any of that, they will all be linked under the video for your convenience. Now, onto our Guru of the Week. This week, our winner is Sajith Sathiavan, a software engineer at CGI Group in Virginia, USA. Congratulations, a t-shirt, sticker, and hand side card are on their way to you, and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2020. If you'd like to win Guru of the Week, be sure to check out this week's Question of the Week on our forum link below. All right, that's all from me this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and we'll see you next time.